Italian Catholic bishop tells children that Santa isn't real. <laughs> no. And I mean, boy, did it, it became a problem. Uh, in Italy, on December 9th, the Roman Catholic Diocese of Noto issued an apology for Bishop Antonio Sagliano's comment regarding Santa Claus not being real after facing outrage from angry parents. On St. Nicola Nicholas's Day, Stagliano told children at a festival where he was speaking that Santa doesn't exist. He also added that the red color of the suit that Santa wears was chosen by the Coca-Cola company exclusively for advertising purposes. I mean, Reverend Alessandro Paolino, the Diocese of Noto's communications director, explained via Facebook that the bishop's, quote, intentions were quite different. Stagliano explained to a local news outlet in Italy that he had intended to help the children, quote, distinguish what is real from what is not. Oh, Clearly missing the irony that is apparent to <laughs> non-believers. He emphasized that he wished to highlight the true meaning of Christmas in contrast to the modern commercialization that took away the holiday spirit. <laughs> I, I mean, the irony is so, so obvious that I don't even know if we need to point it out. Like, yeah, I can see the, the live chat is already pointing it out. Like, it's such a low-hanging fruit. I don't even know. Like, oh, my God. Like, are you, are you, <laughs> do, you need, do you need evidence? Do you need evidence? Is it, is the lack of evidence something that you have an issue with? Um, by the way, I. what do you think, by the way? Do you think, like, I, I mean, as, if think, I was Do I think parent, Santa's real? No, I think... <laughs> Do you think parents yes. should tell? <laughs> like, yeah, I, if I was a parent, I would be telling my kids that um, right away that Santa is not real, but this, but it's fun to play pretend, right? Like we're playing pretend. Yeah, let's pretend Santa is real. Like I would do that to him, right? But I don't know. Do you think like that's what I would do? But do you think like if so, if you're not the parent and somebody else tells your kid, that's like a that's bad, right? Like that, that should um, be bad. Yeah, unless that kid asks that other adult. You know, like, mm. I, if I had children, I don't think I would do Santa with them. Um, I never understood, like, the some kids have a genuine, like, emotional connection, like a bond to Santa. And I never experienced that because I figured out that Santa wasn't real, like, between the ages of four and six, like, very early. Like, I know children who believed in Santa until the age of 10. Like, that's very late. And when oh they finally God. found out, they were genuinely emotionally devastated over it. Like, really? I don't think that's good. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing my friend's sister, like, broken. <laughs> like, what I don't age? think that's good. Like, late. Like, 10. Okay. They're not very smart. <laughs> 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 like by okay, age 10 right. <laughs> by age 10 you can't tell like 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 how 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 could a 10 year old like come on <laughs> by 10 by 10 we were we were doing physics like you can't tell that a man <laughs> cannot like visit that many kids in one night and fit through a chimney by age 10 you can't tell <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, it's like you're very saying, damn, Armin, tis, twist the knife, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> like, I would be like ashamed if that was my oh kid. Oh my god, I don't know. Like, well, and this is part of the problem. Like, some families really go to great lengths to like maintain this tradition or this lie. <laughs> um, and I don't, I don't think it's good. So it was interesting. I think Apostate Prophet had an interesting post or like a thread where he talked about how he told his kids who are like quite young that Santa isn't real. Because he's like, I, I just like didn't have the heart. Like, why would I lie to them? Or something like that. But it's interesting for like atheists or skeptics to talk about that issue. Um, but what I also thought was funny was how angry the parents were. Like that this mm. bishop did this like they lost their shit there was an international outrage <laughs> like how dare you sir 
<laughs> and it also mm. speaks to this interesting contention that Christians have to deal with nowadays. And I this was a big thing in my family, like trying to actively keep the commercialization and secularization really of Christmas at arm's length and it emphasize like no this is Christmas this is Christian this is not about Santa this is about Christ this is about the gift of, of Christ's birth like let's be, put everyone claro okay like <laughs> like you know and so that's what he was talking about in other um excerpts from what he was saying um mm. like trying to talk about okay well even if we do believe in santa claus or saint nicolaus like it's supposed to be about his gift giving it's not supposed to be about the buying the receiving the getting 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 which is um mm. what mm -hmm. a lot of christians do you think do you think like with. what do you think will cause more outrage a teacher telling kids that santa is not real or a teacher telling the kids that God is not real. Which would cause more outrage? Yeah, from parents. It well, in, where? In the United States. United States. Where in the United States? <laughs> An average in the average of United States oh. parents. Um I would say Santa. I would I, say Santa I think I God. Say. I think God. Hmm. Because like most parents know that they're going to have to tell their kids that Santa isn't real at some point. But if a teacher yeah. told their kids that God isn't real, that might actually, in in terms of averages, is likely against the beliefs of the parents. So they're like, oh, now you're insulting me as well. You're taking this away from me as well, not just my child. Mm -hmm. Well, I think like maybe like some people would be more upset with santa even if they believe in god because they think like you can't you can't remove god from our family you're who are you like you can't do that mm. right but like santa they know it's they they know that it's he's not real and they're like I, their kids has a limited time to enjoy it and they think like you took that away from them if you do that but they think like maybe god is not like you pathetic atheist you can't take you can't you can't take god away from our kids you know and maybe they feel less threatened i don't know maybe i don't know we'll see have you um, seen religious people <laughs> that's why i said <laughs> average united states like i'm i'm assuming like i'm averaging texas and california and everywhere else you know in your country anyways mm. let's look at this comment i want to address this Make a woman is saying, I take objection to Armin's statement. Someone can be an, uh, innocent as a child, but they can do well later on in life. Uh, judging others is bad. Read Carl Dweck's mindset. Is, okay, so is, you is have a misunderstanding. talking about you talk, saying that the kid who believed the in Santa there were telling was <laughs> yeah. Okay, first of all, um, kid, yes, we have a, when you say kid, you're you're talking about a large group of people right when you say kid we're talking about a three-year-old and a 10-year-old they're both kids but obviously the standards are extremely different when it comes to what your expectations are okay so there's that so you can't just say like oh as a kid um secondly this is not a very smart comment you're assuming somebody cannot can be i said they're dumb i didn't say they're guilty i said they're idiots i say that 10 year old who believes in santa is a stupid 10 year old and you didn't say anything do? about later on in life. I, what does that got to do with them being innocent or not? Innocent, you could be dumb and innocent at the same time. Like, in fact, you could be, you're more likely to be innocent if you're dumb. Like, <laughs> because you, know, you have just, you could be like, I wasn't, I, I didn't cause harm on purpose. I was, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a dumbass. Like, I don't know what does, what does innocent got to do with somebody being smart or not? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, Thought he has an interesting comment. He's saying discovering that a fictional person is actually fictional can help train your mind to be more flexible to accept that other entities are also fictional. Exactly. Yeah, actually, I never. I, well, I mean, th in, that's what uh, you would think, but I don't understand how so many people believed in Santa, and then they grew up realizing that their parents were lying to them. How is it that the vast majority of the planet of of Christians don't be like wait a second what if we what? went one step higher <laughs> what wait they they I, everybody told me that this thing is real and now i find it's a lie like why wouldn't they why wouldn't they question like hey 
What if the God? Th the, what if God is also a lie? I mean, they're pretty similar. Like they both have a list. They have a naughty and the good list and a bad list, and people get punished for doing bad things. And you're like, hey, this is very similar to the to the Jesus. Like I don't know. I mean, I mean, he looks like Zeus. He looks like he he looks like a traditional. Um, you know, he. I mean, it's so similar. How could how could do people don't wonder? Like even if they conclude, like okay, fine, maybe God is real. If, how how does this not lead to more people, more teenagers wondering about? Okay, maybe God is alive. Why does that? Why does that not happen? It should happen. You know what's interesting is I know some skeptics or atheists who actually have like Chris do Santa with their children specifically so that later when they're a little bit older they can teach them how to be skeptical towards that kind of thing. They're like, okay, well, like, how do we? Because when the kids start going to them and asking, like, hey, is is this real? And they're like, well, actually, let's figure out how we would maybe test if this is real. Like they use it as an exercise. So I thought that yeah, was but I would never lie to my kids it. because then like, why would you ever trust me if I lied to you? You know what I mean? Like if you were like, yes, I was lying to you for like five years. Now this is reality. Oh, like, what is it? <laughs> like, yeah, like, you're not, I, mean, I don't know if you're a good source anymore for any information, given that you've been lying to me for, for so many years. <laughs> So that's why I would never lie to them. I would just be like, I wouldn't take the fun of sand. I would show them how things don't have to, fiction doesn't have to be real for us to be able to enjoy it. Like if I'm reading Harry Potter to my kids, I don't have to tell them that this stuff happened for us to enjoy it, right? So why can't we enjoy Santa without telling them that it's real? Like it's still fun. Like I, there's fun in fiction. Like I tell them like just it doesn't have to be real for us to be able to pretend that it's real. Let's play pretend like kids know how to play pretend. Kids, you know, kids, not all kids are dumb. Okay. So when ki many kids, when they acting like I'm a tiger now, like as a four year old is smart enough to know when, when she's playing like a, a, a unicorn, she's not literally a unicorn. She understands the different that you could enjoy things by pretending. So given that they can understand that when they're playing pretend, then why can't you do that with other things? Why can't you do that with Santa? Anyways. Um, okay. I didn't expect me myself to get so worked up over this, but yeah, anyway. right. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.